Hey guys, this is Ramba Sahib here. Today we will understand about how to perform flashback and resolvable database label. For that, let's start with the from the scratch. What are the prerequisites has to check, and also we will see how to do flashback and the pluggable database level. So let's go ahead and start here. Initially, I will be just checking: Do we have a FRA parameter has been set or not? These are the two parameters which I need to check whether the FRA parameter has been set or not. So initially, I will be going ahead with setting the size followed by destination. So let's say here, prepare one directory, make directory hyphen p u zero one app oracle fast recovery area. This is just a folder where our flashback logs get stored, and let's now set the size. Ultra system set at db recovery file dest equal to some certain depth size equal to let's say example hundred gb. Later I will just set the destination. Here we go. Equal to in a single quote I will just put this value. That's it. So now I can verify here. Do we set the FRA parameters? Yes. Now I'll put it. Showing you the value that means it is it has been set. Now later we will go ahead and check select is it a container database or not, and it's a flashback is on or not, and also we will see the open mode, and also it's a log mode from V dollar database. So it's a mandatory to go for R log mode, and right now the flashback is not on. We will do it that as well. Make it on. That is a uh, on column supposed to say no to yes, and it's a container database. Let's go ahead and make it flashback on. Alter database flashback, and right now I'm in a root container. That's important. Alter database flashback on. So I'm doing the flashback on at the CDB level. Now let's go ahead and check. Initially it was the flashback on. Is low now. It is uh, flashback on. Is yes. That means now flashback is been enabled. Let's go to check how many PD. This we have it. We call it as pluggable database. In that we will be demonstrating, or I will be demonstrating on the third container ID. That's called call ID called container ID number three. Container name CDB one PDB one. In that container we will see the demonstration. Let's switch from the root container to the given CDB one PDB one. Let's go for here. Alter pluggable for alter session set container equal to this container. After switching to this container, let me just check I am in the right container and let's create some restore point. For verify, I'll go for here. Create restore point P one. Okay, and we can verify name of this restore point column name format eight n column time format a four fifty column and S C N that's okay. Let's say name S C N and time from V dollar restore point. I can see that this is what the restore point has been prepared. Let's create from table later. Create table test one two three. And here, I will try to create some table with a certain column. Here we go. So this is a table gets created. Let's try to go for inserting some data. Here. Insert into this test one two three. Got this with the one with a. This is a one value is enough. Let's go and save or commit it. Now, what is our main agenda? Is initially we prepared the restore point, so that means this is just a marking asset. And that marking name of that marking we call restore point with a P one. It can be any name that was prepared on this particular table with this particular C N. Then after that, whatever changes has been done later, I wanted to do a flashback. So let's do that. So right now I prepared one table here. So that's the data is keep coming. 
we will try to create one more table let's say example create table test one two three four as select star from test one two so i prepared there are two tables one is the table has a test one two three this is the initially prepared and this is a later prepared. so total i have one two tables with me now i wanted to do a flashback to the point where we made it here as in this two point so for that i will go back to my from the root control from the pdb or from the pdb cdb1 pdb1 it's for pluggable database or container from that to we will switch to root control you can run it the command connect flash sshdb short form is cunn and verify you are in root container so right now i reached to or i connected back to my root container and you can verify here pdbs are still open let's close alter Pluggable database CTP1 PDP1 close immediately. So you have to close the PDB at the beginning and then say here flashback pluggable database CTP1 PDP1 to list of point P1. This is a so simple command. You have to run flashback pluggable database, it's the name of the pluggable database. To the restore point, the one which we prepared above that restore point name, which I given here, that has to be mentioned. In this example, I prepared the restore point name is P1, and you can mention P1. You can also use a CN or you can also use a tag. Right now, I just mentioned the restore point name. After this is finished with the restore point, here's the one. Now you can do like this open. So, what we can tell alter pluggable database and the name of the pluggable database is this one and open with reset logs so we have to close it the interested or the activity of the pdb database followed by you have to do a flashback and later you have to open it but mandatory it has to be with reset logs after this has been completed you can go ahead and check your container alter session set container right now still i'm in the root container this is all command i executed in the root container let's now switch to the pdb1 so alter session set container equal to cdb1 and pdb this is what i just done now switch to that same container and earlier the table was present let's say here the table was present now you can see those table should not be present see the table is gone the same one more table i just prepared so the both tables are now no more exist so what we have completed at this moment you can just uh, wrap up here this is an example what we just started this is my entire cdb and this is my cdb inside cdb we got container database we have a lot of pdbs pdb1 pdb2 pdb3 except the root container the all other containers called pluggable databases now let's say inside this what i said here one cdb inside that we have a pdb example inside this pdb we prepared one restore point this is just a mark so what is my point name p1 what we call it for this or what we call uh, what we have prepared earlier restore at point so what we our uh, interested uh, right now the situation will be after this marking has been done we created our table one two three we prepared table one two three four now we reached up to this position what we wanted we wanted to do a flashback to this one for that, what you have to complete, you have to say that you know, this is my PDB, right? So you have to complete your step will be close this PDB and the syntax is already covered. After closing this PDB, you have to do flashback plug your database to this particular restore point. That means you wanted to reward the changes, whatever it has been done, and open the PDB again 
with reset of shifts. Now, when to when to go with this all kind of activity? The situation would be: let's say you are doing a, a kind of a, a upgrade to a specific PDB, or you wanted to do a lot of changes and you wanted to test it. Now, later that cha changes what you don't want to retain for a further, maybe in a future level. You wanted to reward the changes whatever has been done. In that case, we will use this kind of a feature called flashback database. Now, this case we have completed or we have performed this activity at the pluggable database level. So the overall the points which I covered here. One is you have to close the PDB. You can see here. First of all, you have to go ahead and close the PDB. So maybe you see here this is the closing the PDB. This is my first point. After that, I will be performing my flashback to the pluggable database and then I will be opening back to my PDB with reset of options. So if I do this complete these three steps, any changes after the restore point, let's say this is my restore point, I prepared it here. Any changes after the restore point will be again gets removed. That's what the requirement and has been completed and also the demonstration has been shown to you and also it's completed. Thank you for watching this video. Take care and bye.